G'day scrappers, got an interesting item to scrap out for you today. Uh, this is a CNC controller, uh, quite an old one. And uh, I picked this up in street scrapping, believe it or not, uh, about a month ago. And so I thought I, I might as well just scrap it out now. It's got a standard LG uh, LCD on the front. Um, it's quite an older model, really. So nothing compared to the CNC machines that there are these days. I'm not really 100% sure what CNC machines really do. Apparently they do... a. Uh, you can get different ones for different applications. They they make things. Uh, <laughs> but uh, when I was picking it up, I remember the the, the person was standing around, and um, I, I I picked it up and I said, "What's this? Is this a point of sale machine?" They said, "No, it's a CNC uh, controller." And they said, "I said, oh, this will be interesting. I'll take it." And they said, "Oh, it's blown out. It's no good to you and or anyone." And I said, "Well." I just want to scrap it out and get the circuit boards and they're telling me that the, the whole thing burnt out so I'm pretty sure if something burns out it would probably just be a capacitor that's blown um, but that's alright I don't need the capacitor I just want the circuit boards um, if there is any so I've just undone it and just to undo the actual uh, the monitor here now, it's, uh, it is a pretty old one, uh, so the circuit boards might actually be pretty good for gold recovery. Now here we just got the LCD monitor, um, just a standard kind of monitor, even though it's it's an old, quite an old um, LCD. But I'm not really interested in the monitor. We've uh, I've opened up enough monitors in over time to know what's inside them. This is the actual box. Just get myself organised. So when I seen it on the street, when I was looking at it, I, I noticed three slot cards. So I thought, well, you know, that alone is uh, worth picking it up. Uh, at the time, I was picking up scrap metal anyway, so. Uh, even if it wasn't, if it was completely burnt out, I still would have thrown it in scrap metal, but it, it looks alright. Big old on-off switch here. Uh, and you can see the vintageness of it. It's, it's just got a floppy and a five pin port here, which would have been for the old, you know, the old IBM style clicky kind of keyboards, or just an old keyboard with a five pin socket. So it's definitely a, a, a vintage kind of thing, and I can just see the circuit. Well, this, yeah, it looks like the motherboard. So it's kind of like a little PC. So, yeah, reasonably interesting. So I'll just see if I can uh, open it up. As usual, before I scrap stuff out these days, I try and uh, undo as many screws as I can, just so uh, the video is not just of me undoing screws. But it shouldn't be a big video, a long one. It's this is uh, doesn't look like there's a whole lot to it. Just do a couple more screws here. Oh, there's a power supply, so it's almost it's kind of like it's just a a PC. Oh yeah, oh yep. It certainly is. Well, I'll be looking out for these boxes in the future. Now there's the old uh, power supply unit. We don't really want this. So we'll just cut the wires and send that off as a scrap power supply. Yep, so it's very much like a PC. Should get down and hang on, I might just uh, zoom in a little bit. Okay, that might be a bit better. 
Now there's a nice on off switch here. So I might as well keep the whole thing intact as it is. It's all ready to go. So that's that's a nice little piece there just to um, keep for spare electrics. Never know, one day I might, you know, do more hobby wiring, electronics, and just get rid of some of this cable and get a better look at what we've got. Okay, it looks like it's got a hard drive in here. Okay, well, yeah, so it's only got two slot cards, but it's got a CPU. And they said it's burnt out completely. I can't see anything that's burnt out, really. Um, so they were obviously lying. Maybe they didn't want me to take it. I oh, know it doesn't have a hard drive. That's just the floppy. But still, very interesting. Little, how's that? So we've got a 486 CPU in it. Um, it's just got one RAM stick. Nice chunky gold ram stick. Awesome. So you can tell it's uh, you know it's an old unit because of the ceramic CPU. Um, yeah. So uh, this one's uh, it looks like it was dated. It was put in at 1995. So just a standard 486, still a good one. It's not the gold cap version, so it's 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 the SX. So yeah, a little bit different, a little bit less value than a gold cap 486, but still uh, they're pretty good. Okay, so I'll just uh, get these slot cards out. And this one here is just a cable. Might be able to get those pins. This big one here. Well, that's that's actually quite a nice um, slot card slash logic board. Looks like it's got quite a good BIOS. Um, I see here so I might check that out might check this whole board out it might be a could, could even be a reasonably valuable vintage kind of board yeah just a uh, standard graphics card well it's still an old version but some nice gold pins on there and stuff, but uh, not not a whole heap of fingers. But they they are good good fingers. You can see there's quite a bit of wear on. It's been pulled in and out a few times. That's for sure. But, uh, if they were completely full, it'd be a, a nice board to depopulate. But I'll just think about that. All right. Well, yeah. So not a lot to it. CNC controller um, but it's the first one that I've had that I <laughs> that I've known what it actually is so um, so these boards are gonna have to be undone from underneath here okay Again, they've got a little nut, so quite unusual. I suppose it's not a PC, so it's probably not designed to be uh, dismantled. It's a long one. I've been keeping myself busy uh, working on the garage. Uh, so I'll do an update video on that soon. 
uh, just uh, doing the very slow stuff that uh, just takes a long time but uh, slow and boring cutting cables and stuff so a lot of that looks like there's one more Okay. So yeah, just a uh, pretty standard motherboard. You know, quite old school. Got a lot of birds around at the moment. They're uh, a whole group of native cockatoos have come through and um, they've been hanging around for a few days eating um, nectar out of some of the trees but yeah there you go so we've got some ic chips here that you know possibly can be removed not the amy bios uh chip here pretty standard and the rest well there's really nothing else to it uh i've got a uh, floppy here usually the floppies i don't uh, waste my time with uh firm to do them nice and quick they do have these older ones do have really nice gold pins so just to make it easy for me I just cut out the gold pins and uh, and I'm almost done if I can access it I'll take out the little motor here uh, it doesn't really bother me they're so small uh, they don't really have a great deal of weight but still there you go just a little tiny little motor worth a cent <laughs> so that was the CNC controller main motherboard so it, it certainly was a, a vintage not a bad uh, slot card here I might just uh, keep this one it looks like yeah it might just be a graphics card but it might be a, a, a good one so I'll just check that out this one here pretty standard won't worry about this one but still some good value and this was uh, picked up off the street and uh, even better than uh, most PCs that I pick up you know because we don't get ceramic CPUs very often anymore so just a nice little bonus got a little old vintage RAM and uh, some wire and stuff power supply so there we go so I've got my chickens jumping all over the place the one on the bench here <laughs> um, this one's a bit nosy it's once it starts getting on the bench it uh, it makes a habit of it but that was the CNC controller um, you know not a huge scrap but still almost like a vintage PC uh, just a little bit interesting thought I'd throw it in anyway in a Whilst I'm uh, in the process of uh, scrapping out the garage, I'm, I've done quite a lot of boxes, so I'm really getting there. I, as I said, I will do an update video once I get through it all, um, or as I'm getting through, get to more interesting things. There's a few things I noticed I might do um, on video, uh, scrapping out some dental equipment, stuff like that. But uh, for now, that's it. CNC controller. All scrapped out and not a bad little kit inside all right guys keep scrapping have fun and I'll catch you next time